From parametric object, I forgot to teach helix. I want to explain in this lesson. Sorry for that. Click and insert a helix. You can import it. It's very important. For example, for we can use it for animating something, for animating camera, and anything that you want. You can use it uh, for a spring and anything. It has a lot of sitting here in the object tab. I start from uh, end angle. We have a start angle and end angle. The end angle is uh, double 360 means uh, 720. If you want to uh, make more round, you have to increase the end angle as you can see we have more around more helix shape okay okay we bring it more and if you see the helix in a different view for example in a right view you can see it's like a sine wave okay i change the end angle more if the slider will be end here in it's now 40 you can type or click and drag any number that you want or you can simply type 300 if you want to accurate round for helix 300 multiple for example 9 and it's calculate for you so you can simply type any number in this box okay and you can change a start angle as well it's not important but we want to make a clean things. And here we have a start radius. You can change the start radius. As you can see, we can change it. And now you can see what's that. And end radius. Change it here. As you can see, if we change the uh, end angle, we have a fixed height and a this turns on helix shape happen in that fixed height. You can change it high here and simulate the string in this setting. Okay, and after that we have something called ra ra radial bias and height bias. Bias in this, for example, radius bias can change it it means how this and where this uh, changing the radius that you change it here affect in which part of the helix you can change it as you can see this uh, here is the fixed radius and the uh, the radius changing in this part of the helix you can change it with bias and the bias height, if you change it, as you can see, uh, you can change the height of the helix, for example, in this part or in that part. In fact, you are changing the compression of the spring with the height bias. We can play with this. Uh, option to see what happened in the helix okay in a subdivision i copy that with holding control and click and drag in helix uh, i leave the subdivision at this number and i increase the subdivision for example three time and both of them click and drag and make them editable going for example in this view and we're going to the point mode. As you can see, this is the helix with 100 subdivision. This is 300 subdivision. As you can see, it creates more points for us. This is all about subdivision. And other setting is the same as before, intermediate point and other things. Okay, this is helix. It's very useful and you know it's sitting. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us.
like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.